Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Mr. Jaylee93 for uh, another toy view. As you can see, I have five figures from Transformers Fall Cybertron. Uh, Bruticus, he's, uh, well, this is the Platinum Edition. So, uh, this is actually really, this is actually game accurate to what's, yeah, exactly in the game. But this is a Taiwanese retail version, which is, which is there's nothing different about the Taiwanese retail version from the Hasbro version except for uh, you do get four sets of structures which is right here you, you, you have the Taiwanese which is like a spin-off it's like more Chinese and you, this Chinese version it's a, it's a level 2 intermediate which I can kind of see why but it's not in really that much into and uh, right here, this is the English version. Uh, yeah, this is for the Chinese people right here. As you can see, there's Chinese right here. And it says a Platinum Edition right here. Yeah. But um, unlike the Hasbro retail, it says Platinum Edition. But unlike the Hasbro version, uh, this one, it this one it does say, uh, it does give you two, uh, two Combaticons. Per uh, re per review sheet, and uh, yeah, you, you got brawl and s you got brawl and swindle on one. So uh, yeah, that, that's the only difference about the uh, that's the only difference between those the American retail and the Taiwanese retail. So uh, yeah, and nowhere does it and nowhere in this packaging does it refer. These guys as the Kubatakons. It just refers to as one D as one Septicon or in this case Boudicus. It just refers as one intelligence guy, which in fact they aren't they're all individually uh individual robots that have their own consciousness. So yes, uh right here, starting over you have Vortec. I can feel this. This is Blast Off, Swindle, Onslaught, Brawl, and Vortex right here, and as you can see here, blast off right here is a uh, yeah he look like a space shuttle. Swindle is a looks like a, a, a dune buggy, kind of like a military uh, Humvee kind of thing. On the side, I have no idea what he is. Brawl is a tank, which Brawl did appear in the 2007 Transformers movie, and Vortex, yeah. Vortex is a helicopter. So yes, wh basically what I'm going to be doing for this video is uh, I'm going to be reviewing each individual figure, basically giving each one a 20 minute review. Each video 20 minute review. This video right here is going to be a separate one. I'm going to be putting all all six videos in a playlist. Well, maybe seven. How I'm going to be putting all of these videos in a playlist so you guys can watch it. Hit, just hit shuffle and just play all, all of them. So yeah, so uh, I'm going to be starting off with Swindle. Oh, alright guys, so uh, <clears throat> here we, so here we have Swindle, and uh, I'm just going to say this again, uh, this will be an entirely separate video, it's going to be short, like little stories, I'm going to mash up uh, a bunch of short videos together to try and make a long one, hopefully I can do that, but hey, so uh, let's get started. So Swindle, he's <clears throat> like a Doom buggy, I think, but he's ground assault. <clears throat> According to the game, or in the Fall Cybertruck game, well, Swindle was just was it an assault? He's kind of like a tank. Uh, not really a tank, but Brawl here already takes that jab. So, uh, yeah. So uh, on the instructions, uh, it actually does not really say. Well, this this is the Platinum Edition. Which, uh, not really similar to the, uh, to the San Diego Comic Con version, but from what I can see, it is pretty similar. So, I uh, yeah, so, so for a so Swindler here, he's a pretty big dude, well, pretty big vehicle mode. So, uh, so in the game, you only see it from back here, which is, these are the feet in Bruticus, for Bruticus right leg, and... Swindle, Swindle also use these feet, but you do see from back here, yes, there's a gun, 
a huge uh, game accurate. Uh, yeah, he does have smokestacks, which are not really smokestacks, well, smoke turbo, yes, what do you call that? Flame injectors from, uh, for our muscle cars. So, yeah, the, these are painted silver. Uh, just pipes here, painted silver, the same way, uh, same way, same color as up here, and, uh, a lot of other color things. So, for cohesiveness. Uh, this right here is, a. Uh, yeah, you don't really see, well, you see a lot of, uh, like, robot kibble, do you call it? Like, you can see his arms here, and his feet, and, like, a whole, like, a big bar thing in the back. Uh, you have these, like, grating things. Like, are those, like, minesweepers or something to, like, cut any auto by that you run into a view? <laughs> I can't remember, but, hey. Uh, he has a nice Decepticon logo here, it, but it kind of goes very well with this color scheme, like the pan and uh, in the purple, light purple. This light purple is actually different from uh, this purple. This one's a lot darker from how I see it, but it's not like how you guys are going to see it. It's, it's lighter than that. From what I can see from with my own eyes, uh, the purple here is same color as up here, so uh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, for a size comparison, and the only other false Cybertron figure that I have is uh, <clears throat> the false Cybertron uh, Optimus Prime. Now, uh, judging by this, uh, this scale, both of these are deluxe figures. Judging by this, Swindle should be uh, roughly 18 feet tall. If he would appear on Earth, because Optimus Prime is 18 feet tall, according to Michael Bay, according to the Bayformers and all that stuff. <laughs> 18 feet tall, and uh, Optimus is a semi truck, and then we have this. This should be like a uh, kind of like an armored, like kind of like a, a uh, kind of like a tank with rubber wheels or something. I forgot what it's called. It's like. It's, I'll probably get that later on, so, yeah. Optimus uh, Prime, I read the review. If you guys want to see it, just go, go to one of my, uh, go to my Transformers playlist, and, uh, and then you'll find this is a Transformers full of Cybertron Optimus. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, now, his accessory is a, uh, handgun thing, but when you see on the back, you have missiles, which... Which is what I think this, this is right here. And, uh, yeah, he does have these two things which do knobs on his side where we can combine all the Combaticons weapons just like how you can combine a Combaticon. So not only can you combine the Combaticons, you can also combine their weapons. Well, you can also combine an Onslaught's weapon, which Onslaught's weapon does, like, appear, does come, does, it is Bruticus's guns on his back, which I'll explain when I do the Bruticus review. So, uh, yeah, this this is just good. It's the same color as this, like I said. No, not much, so let's get this off the side, and I just dropped it. Okay, uh, so another size comparison, just, you know, here, uh, here we have a Onslaught. Uh, <clears throat> Onslaught is roughly the... Same size, well, you guys can't even see it. And uh, anyway, oh, Onslaught is roughly the same size. And I can stand this guy because, like I said, he's got like the elephant feet. Here, but Onslaught, well, you guys still can't even see him. You can see he's, they're the same size. So, uh, yeah, but but this set suffers from the. It needs to be a bit bigger, like certain parts. Now, I'm gonna do another comparison uh, with uh, Blast Off. Blast off is special. In the game, uh, Blast off is like half the size of half the size of uh, uh, Swindle here. When you see them like standing right next to each other, Blast off and Vortex are arms, and the arms are 
smaller. So uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll be dealing with comparison with this guy, this guy in uh, robot mode. I'll be doing comparison with all the, a lot of other stuff. So uh, yeah, so, uh, let's get the transformation. Now, what you need to do first is uh, come to the arms right here. You just unpack this. Arms do play them right here. Just bring them out to the side. Oh wait. Yeah, you just bring them out to the side. Just loosen this up. <clears throat> just have them like this. And take this front thing and untab it. All these use tabs are worrying me. So I'm afraid they're going to break soon. Like these tabs are right here. I think they're going to break, but yeah, just take this lever right here, take these arms, bring it out, and we're out. Now for the Platinum Edition, they did make it a lot easier, so you don't have to take this and push in to get this in the line, line up thing, in the straight line, versus in the regular setting you Comic Con. This is actually how far you can go. Now, I've watched a lot of other people's reviews of the setting you Comic Con version. You can go as far, but the Platinum Edition, they upgraded to make it so you just go like that. So what you need to do with this, next is, uh, well, take the legs, straighten it out. Take this whole thing, rotate it 180 degrees, like so. So basically you have that and, uh, well, take the little feet, well, I'll take the big feet and then separate it. This again, when you open, get the Platinum Edition, and yes, I... Platinum Edition, this did not come with Grimlock, it's just a Platinum Edition without Grimlock. When you get this, just a tab it. When I first got this, I was afraid these tabs were gonna break. Because these hold into, uh, into this really well. And you just, there you go, you had the legs. Elephant legs. Now, uh, coming up to the top, uh, you can see uh, uh, but what you need to do first is uh, take these arms, fold up his shoulder bits. Take this, fold up his shoulder bits, basically take his uh, smoke thing, where it's like turbo coolant or whatever you call these. I'm probably, I'm probably going to get yelled at in the comments. So take this, get the other side, basically in here there are like little hatches. So take this, and well, you can't even see it. Take this, and uh, basically bend it around. I've tried going it other way, but it's, I'm afraid it's going to break, and now you're looking at scratch. It's very inappropriate, Jay. Well, there you have his arms. Now the next thing, what you need to do is for the head review. Not really the head review, you just take this right here. Well, you can, you just push it down here, or you can just do that, but it makes it easy to just push it. Just put it up, and now he's looking up. And, uh, basically you just... I have to tab this in, take this part, push it into these slots. And I uh, just do like this. And uh, uh, this. Take, come back here, you see these tabs, you just push it down. And you'll feel it like lock in. Just straighten everything out. And, uh, and, and because here you have a uh, auto, not auto bot. Why do you keep going on, but uh, the Decepticon Swindle in his uh, robot mode. So the reason why I call him Autobot is because in the game, when he, when he says, you bet, he kind of sounds like an Autobot because it doesn't have like the like evil sounding one, but eventually when he's like lining up to do an attack on the Autobot drops on Autobot oil tanker or Autobot Energon tanker, he says, you bet. I'm in position, I'm in position, I'm in position on slot. He kind of sounds more evil, but sounds like uh, Swindle could change size, I don't know. I could be wrong, so uh, yeah. For his uh, little hang on to dad. Uh, yeah, you can put it here. Which, yeah, he's not holding his hang on. Pew, pew, pew. Now, uh. Now this, this is just really cool right here. This it, it can fit in both hands, but it can't really fit up here because it's got its like head in the way. Now uh, for detailing, uh, zooming into the head, he has this little like chubby boy 
Oh crap. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, he also has like the goggles of a, uh, of a soldier. Kind of makes me think he's gonna be like a, a combat vehicle such as a Humvee dimension. And uh, now for de detailing, he does kind of like have like a G2 Megatron look. I'm not sure, but his head is on like a swivel drum, but you don't get much leverage to actually rotate his head. Head does go 360 degrees, and now you can see the back of his head. It'll rotate around. And I'm gonna do now size comparison for his head. Uh, I'm not done with this, I'm gonna see my reaction. Now, for size comparison, here you have a dime. Yes, a dime right here. Their heads are pretty small, so yeah. So, he does have a nice smoke sacks, a big bad Decepticon sim faction symbol right here. Zooming out. Uh, he does have like a, he does have a ball joint right here, but it doesn't really do much. This does up and down, just about like so. His arms are on a ball joint, but they don't really go like that. You just go like this and just rotate around. Three six degrees, and then forward and back, and that's pretty much about it with the arms. There is always articulation due to transformation. And uh, the legs, I think they're on a ball joint. Yeah, they're, they're on a really tight ball joint because of because these are gonna be uh, kind of like the base of it of Boudicca's legs. Just it goes in and out, goes like that, and it rotates above the knee, bends at the knee, and I don't know if you guys can call this a. Uh, Foot articulation, but like right down here, just have this. But before it's all away, uh, yeah. So he does actually stand very well. You can actually get him in a very good pose because, like I said, he has this his really big like ankle spurs. So you can get it. You can get him to do like a matrix pose where he can like dodge bullets. <laughs> yeah, you can even dodge stuff like that, and he. He's not gonna, well, he fall, falls over now. Yeah, if you, I mean, you can kind of get him like this. He's not gonna fall over. Well, you guys can't even see him. You, you can get him to, quite, to lean him back quite far. So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, for size comparison, uh, here you have uh, him uh, swindle next to a false Cybertron now. Optimus Prime and a uh, his Optimus still does not look red enough. <laughs> so yeah, Optimus is 18 feet tall, but Sono looks like a full, like, foot or two or three feet tall, so like 20 feet, I don't know if that's accurate, but uh, yeah. That's one size comparison. Now for another size comparison, here you have him comparing to one of his teammates, uh, which is what I said. Uh, this set suffers some needs to be a lot bigger, like certain parts, like, I understand these are deluxe, but, uh, the last stuff should not be the same height as, uh, Swindle. They look like, like, Swindle needs to be more, a bit taller, and the last stuff here needs to come up. To uh, swindle like right here, because that's how it is according to the game. Now, that's gonna be that's for the size persons. Now, uh, well, I can I can understand why uh, people are griping about this. Uh, I don't really have. I do kind of like swindle. The swindle character is good. I mean, he is kind of like a ground assault. He does. In the game, he does come with a Neutron Assault Rifle. I don't think this is a Neutron Assault Rifle. This kind of looks like the gun that he comes with on his vehicle mode. So, speaking of vehicle mode, I'm going to transform back into vehicle mode. And then I'm going to show you guys how to transform into limbo, which is what I'm going to do with all the Combaticons. Now, to transform, what you need to do first is, well, uh, they just move forward and I just hit my camera. Do the same with the other set. I'm gonna keep doing that. Just 
just move this forward and basically take this, untab it. And use again, it uses a lot of tabs I'm worried with. You gotta fold the head in if just if it'll even cooperate. Oh wait, I have to shrink, you have to shrink out the head before you actually fold the head down. So yeah, just take this, just leave it there, and uh, basically you have to come down here to your little feet. Take this, just do that as well, whatever, and then take that, just, you gotta tap this, tap into here, and then that tap into one at the top. You can't be too safe, but you can also be way too dangerous. And just take, and then once you have these two together, you just take this whole configuration and rotate this around. And take that and just fold it up. That's according to this. And if this is not straight enough, you can't tap these arms into that. Now take this. Yeah, if you fold the shoulder back. Shoulder and then, oh wait, you have to take this, fold it forward, like right here. You gotta take that, fold it right here, and take this, lower it down. And uh, basically, you have to tab, put this tab into that slot right there. And if it's not aligned, it will not fit in. I don't know what this snap, or I don't know what this crap, and uh, This you just gotta tab it in. So you just gotta do this. And apparently you just line up, you take that and you just tab it in. And again you can hear some tabs. And you gotta make sure you just when you put it down you gotta make sure and you gotta make sure the wheels do line up. So uh, it can just roll. So yeah. That's there's swindle back in this uh, vehicle mode. Now I'm not gonna try, now I'm not gonna put this weapon back on because I'm gonna show you how to get this guy into his limb mode or his right limb mode. Doesn't matter, I mean you can you chain him with brawl. So what you need to do is take this, fold it up like so, and basically then no, nope, I'm just kidding. What you need to do is just take this untab again, use the tabs as worry me, take this, now take this hinge, fold it up do it like so and basically you see two slots right in here the top slot is what you use to put it into vehicle mode the one on the bottom is what you have to put it into limb mode you just tap it in it gets it kind of this like bent look well you gotta straighten out a tab first yeah you get into the bent mode and basically there you have the legs so yeah, that's going to be it for this review, and next up, and next up we're going to be taking a look at 